For the first time since the last season of Sir Alex Ferguson in charge of United, there is a true sense of optimism and belief that the coveted EPL trophy just might be heading back to the theatre of dreams since the 2012 and 2013 season. United fans are right to be optimistic and dream up a potential title celebration come May 2021. They are currently top of the EPL table after a crucial tie at Anfield against the reigning champions, Liverpool. It's amazing how far this team has come and their current position is one that even die-hard United fans didn't dare dream of after the dismal start to the season. Welcome to the pitch. Today, we'll be looking at the Red Devils and the high-flying form that propels them to the top of the EPL table. We drop amazing football content every week, so be sure you hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any new videos. Let's get right into it. Impressive away form. Manchester United have taken 26 points from a possible 30 up for grabs on the road this season. They won their first six away fixtures of the season, scoring at least three goals in each of those matches. Also remarkable is the fact that all those wins came from behind after conceding their first goal. Their win at Burnley was their first clean sheet on the road this season. Since their dramatic 2-1 win over Brighton in late September, they have faced Newcastle, Everton, Southampton, West Ham, Sheffield United, winning all. Their trip to the King Power Stadium saw a 2-2 draw with Leicester City, which brought an end to their 100% record on the road. They have scored 36, often leaving it late with five goals coming in the 90th minute and beyond. They have also conceded 11 goals in those eight games. When they are away from home, United has looked like a completely different beast. Bruno Fernandes and Rashford are their leading goal scorers on the road with six apiece. Their away form is one that hasn't been seen in top flight in 60 years, and it's hard not to consider them as front runners for the league if they keep this form up. Bruno Fernandes is absolutely brilliant. As we mentioned in a prior video about the emergence of Bruno Fernandes, much has been said about the Portuguese and his instant impact at the club. Since his arrival, Bruno has looked comfortable in the United team and in turn Man U have looked like a completely different team. His record-breaking 4th Player of the Month award is a testament to his impact and incredible form at Manchester United. Everything good and great currently going on in the team centres around the impressive midfielder. From his goals to assists, Bruno is the reason why fans can sing Glory, glory, Man United once again, and have filled their hearts with joy and optimism. A Professional Footballers Association award at the end of the season surely looks like it's Bruno's to lose, but the trophy would surely be at the top of his list over any individual awards. He has built a great partnership with every other midfielder in the squad. Scott McTominay, Paul Pogba, Fred and even Matic have all performed excellently when paired with Bruno. Hence United's midfield is looking very strong for the first time in years. They are contributing to attacks and are defensively strong as well. Bruno has made it easier for everyone else on the squad. The league is wide open. Not since Leicester won their Premier League title has the league been this open. There are so many contenders and each of them has a legitimate reason to dream of the trophy. The past seasons have seen a runaway leader at this point in the season. Liverpool were almost sure of the title this time last season, leading the pack with 19 points. This season, champions Liverpool have dropped more points on the road than in the last three seasons. Combine that with their inability to score recently, and Klopp's squad doesn't look like the world beater commentators were expecting them to be this season. Manchester City have been awful at times this season, and with Kevin De Bruyne out with an injury until March, their chances have taken a significant blow. Tottenham has lost their early season steam and will need a large push from Kane and Son to push them to the title. Leicester City has been inconsistent this season, and the recent injury to Vardy will surely test the squad down the stretch. 
Chelsea does not look like a team with more than €200 million Euros spent in reinforcements in the last off-season, with Frank Lampard telling reporters, Chelsea is not a club that's ready to compete. Manchester United have been by far the most consistent team in the league. They have taken important points against teams which fellow title contenders have struggled against, and they should be competitively against fellow challengers. Unless other teams go on a run in the second half of the season, United will be heading to the final stretch of the season, confident of getting a 21st Premier League trophy. Depth in squad While their business in the transfer market might have understandably frustrated fans, United just might have gotten their decision right. Currently, United's bench consists of a World Cup winner, PSG's former leading goalscorer, arguably England's current best goalkeeper, Brazilian's national team's left-back, and €40 million, Euro, a youngster destined for great things in England's attack, a Scottish midfield genius, an experienced Nigerian, and a player who has previously won the league. For every position, Oli has a quality replacement on the bench. The starters are doing exceptionally well, and the substitutes get the job done when they're called up to fill in. Cavani, clear evidence of this, putting up match-winning performances off the bench when it seemed United were headed to defeat. As seen in recent seasons with Manchester City and Liverpool, how good a shift your substitutes can put in goes a long way in boosting your title challenge. In a campaign like this, where teams play every three days, the starters require a lot more rest to avoid injuries and loss of form in the stretch run. Oli Gunnar has definitely found a way to manage his squad and get the best out of his players, and it would be interesting to watch their challenge for the 21st EPL title. There you have it guys, a look at what has been an impressive season so far for the Red Devils, and the reasons for their high-flying campaign. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button. We also love to hear from you as always. Let us know how you feel about Manchester United's season and how you think the rest of the season will end. Feel free to let us know of any topics you would like us to discuss next. We drop amazing football content every week, so ensure you hit the red subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos.